All right, here's an example of some, I'd say some popular advertising and just image effects that you can use in your e-learning courses, um, especially if you're trying to create some kind of visual surprise or you want to show some before and after. So let's take a look at a couple ways to do this. Once you see a couple of these, you get the idea pretty quickly. But in this first one, we'll work with uh, probably the most common, the, mo the easiest that you've seen, and that is just to kind of scale in an image, a circular image, an oval image, put it up against another image, and so in this case, the can, right? Move that over just a little bit more. And double click it and let's go ahead and just apply a quick inner shadow. And then we can apply that, maybe modify that inner shadow a little bit more. But it looks like you took a, uh, a knife or a some way is just to slice that can open, bring the blur up a little bit and check that out. Another thing you can do is work with the various effects in PowerPoint. So right now I'm in, in 2010 but you could obviously uh, do some of the ones that are available in 2007 as well, but some of these kind of look pretty cool. Anyway, so this idea in this example is just kind of more of a, of a product base, right? And then you could also just copy both of them and if you wanted to duplicate that, and it looks like it cut kind of a double whammy, right? All right, so a couple other ideas. Now you can also scale it vertically. So if I take this one and I just bring this up and in, Right, so just line it with the can right there. Now what you'll have to do, and this is one reason I really like working uh, in PowerPoint, and that is I can crop this can, but I can always get that crop back without having to re uh, bring that image back in. So I'm just line that with the, uh, the lemon, and now we kind of sliced it in half. And I could put a globe in there, I could put some ocean water, I could put um, maybe even like a chart. And of course, you would just still want to go ahead and put that, uh, that inner, inner shadow in there. That inner shadow is really sort of the key there. But that doesn't really help us create courses or help with uh, training. Well, if you think like a safety example, um, you know, maybe your intro right here is, you know, 20% of workplace injuries could be avoided, and then you animate the little thumb that pops off. That's kind of effective, or at least it's going to, um, I don't know, probably cause some learners to sit up. But the key for this, right, is just to a small piece of meat that just gets filled into an oval, right? So in this case, it's all about the big slab of meat, and we can go ahead and crop this, right? So we use the cropping tool, and we just want to crop around really the, the red part of it. If you make it, when you're making it smaller, you actually lose a little bit of that, uh, of, that clear, of that definition of the image quality, so it's better just to kind of get the solid part of this. And again, want to use the cropping tool, so we just click the crop, and we'll bring that down. There's the arm, control click to duplicate it, and we can bring this back up. And this time we'll just reverse crop it. Okay, so now we have it. Let's go ahead and just insert a quick oval shape, and that oval shape will be used to kind of create the, that sawed off part right there. Now I already saved out that, that, uh, that uh, piece of meat earlier, so I already have that saved as a sort of a, a square image. Uh, shape fill, we'll go ahead and picture, there it is, turn off my outline, and for some reason I got a drop shadow, but I want an inner shadow, and there you go. And if you wanted to add this, say you wanted to put that um, up here, you could do that as well. If you wanted sort of a, I can't get that handle so quick. But that's the idea right there real quick. And you know you can adjust the different shadow, make it softer, make it darker. That might be a little too dark for this example, um, but just another idea. And what else do we have? Oh, I thought it was kind of funny, just sort of a meathead versus a brainiac. I don't know, it's just a simple oval. Again, you just drop it over the face. The inner shadow makes it kind of look like it's pushed back in there. And here's this one, right? So if you wanted to see some kind of create the, uh, image of someone maybe who's always talking in charts and data, maybe a familiar SME. You put this, uh, that in there, crop his head down, so just double click him and bring it somewhere around there. There's the chart. And again, it's just precision. If I go ahead and just quickly add a shadow to that, sh uh, an inner shadow, Anyway, you get the idea, and it's just one of those things where you can start doing a lot of things with it. Uh, I could also have had the brain kind of coming out of it as well. But some fun ideas as a way to kind of do it for fun. But also, I think, you know, when you look at the safety, you want to look at some before and after or cutaways. You could do a, a cutaway of a globe or something a little bit more uh, serious. But kind of a fun effect, and uh, hope to see your samples.